Well, a cold morning at Dino Days, but this has certainly warmed our cockles. This is a K-swapped Rover MG, probably a 140 to start with, maybe. But, uh, but yeah, look at that. It's definitely in there, as Richard says. And uh, we're tuning today on Hondata K Pro. Well, it's not my USB cable where I'm trying to put it in the Hessian mic. That won't work, mate. <laughs> that won't work. This is why I made you a cup of tea first thing, warm you up a bit. Yeah, look at that. It's, uh, it's going to be a track toy. It's got some. Uh, it's got some bucket seats that Richard can't fit in. It's not. It's not so much the seat that's the problem. It's how close it is to the steering wheel that's the problem. Should we have a bit of a browse? I think he's got. I don't think he has any legs. <laughs> he's got legs, mate. No, he can't have. He just didn't eat all his dinners like you. Yeah. So I'm a bit. I'm a bit close to the steering wheel than I'd like. Our Andy at Albro Auto said it would love this, but because it's Tuesday and he has Tuesdays off, he won't see it, bless him. Uh, I know it's Tuesday because no one's made me a coffee this morning. No, that's definitely not, that's definitely not been nice yeah, then, has it? No, and it's cold, mate, it's cold. We're gonna to have to get used to it, ain't we, mate? Acclimatize, acclimatize, acclimatize. Oh, it's definitely That was easy that for way, me to say, acclimatize. Well, the, the second that I've had to de my window this morning. Yeah. Is enough to uh, check out that for a poll. Yeah, the icy windscreens to start something special, ain't it? Right, ignition is off. Right, let's get cracking. Cold, Richard. Look, that's put a hat on. Yeah. You look so cute, baby. He's like. dressed up like he's got 10, 15 layers on, I'd say. A coat with a jacket with another jacket with, four, his, four with his homeless coat over the top. Four, four layers, mate. Four layers. Four layers. It, does it Three me? pairs of pants, only one of them's is. It reminds me of Nam. Oh, is that what it is? How about you were ever there? I was in a previous life. If you believe if you believe in reincarnation, you drop a comment. Like, now, don't encourage well, this MG, you. Do, don't but this it. MG is reincarnated, isn't it? Because obviously it used to be pants. And now it's got a Honda engine in it. I'm gonna refrain from commenting on that. <laughs> so <clears throat> what does Dan know? Some some, some people might say if they were a true Honda enthusiast, it's a waste of a K20, but that's not that's not what we're saying that's not what i said this is amazing i didn't say no that's what i said i didn't say that. you didn't say that. i didn't say that i said some honda enthusiasts may say some honda enthusiasts may say that but yeah. that's not what we're saying but deeply their roots do come from rover yeah they do because there was some shared things going on in the oh, that's what didn't i yeah i miss, <sighs> I miss that car right come on let's get on about this car rover 25 yeah. Yeah. k20 swap uh didn't do as well as, to be fair, I'd probably have liked it to have done today. I'd expect it to make around 230. Got a decent size induction kit on it. Uh, it's got a good, looks like a really good manifold and exhaust on it. Um, but yet, yeah, it doesn't seem to have made any more than 215. It came in around that power. We've tuned and, and made some mid-range gains. It was mapped previously. It was mapped previously, yeah. And we've made some mid-range gains from that, which is great. But the again, it, there's definitely a flow issue somewhere of some description because we're reaching the top end of power. Uh, and we're, you know, we're table topping off. It's no amount of changes is given. No, yeah, no amount power. of changes given as any power. Um, you know, the map initially was rich anyway. Um, so we we took a little bit of fuel out there. That's where we've made some grains and things. We had a go with the ignition timing and cam timing, and we just don't seem to make any power there. So, the, to be honest, looking underneath it, it looks lovely. It's a good sized system. It's two, sort of two and a half inch. It's all stainless. It looks really nice. Mm. Uh, the only thing it's got in there is a sports cap. So unless there's a, there's a problem with that sports cap or a little yeah, bit of an perhaps, issue that we're, we're not aware of. Uh, but as Dan always says, we tune on uh, we tune on what we're given. Each car on its own merit, my friend. Yeah, so we've done exactly that this morning. Uh, we've made some gains, so hopefully the customer will be happy with that. 
Yeah, uh, I'm not sure he's driven it yet. Yeah, got the engine management light off. Uh, that was our throttle position and some obviously some O2 sensor codes and things. So we've done that. Uh, so once yeah, the thermostat. Yeah, once the thermostat kept dropping off temp on us with the uh, with the fan on and stuff. So we just on and off with the fan a little bit to keep temperature right up there, so we get a decent map out of it. Um, yeah, so a few issues, but if it's not been driven, then that's probably why they've. Uh, It'll be great though. Come to, It'll come still to be life. a lot quicker than an MG ZR. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I know somebody's got a track car, one of these. Maybe it's about time we got engine swap then. I isn't think it? maybe if he wants to keep up with the big boys, it needs yeah, a K yeah. swap, don't it? Right, should we have a look at the graph? Yeah, come on. Well, there we go. As we always say, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaved, and she was mapped previous. So uh, we made some gains there, as Richard says, table topped a little bit at the top end there. Didn't want to continue to make power, no matter what we did. Uh, but we finished today on da, 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 215 brake, which is 174 at the wheels. So there we go. You don't see many of them with a K engine in. Uh, I think it might be the only one I've seen on the dyno with a K engine in it. And we've seen some unusual crap here, mm. uh, but this is pretty pretty lovely. You, so, can't say, you can't say you've seen some unusual crap. I have seen some unusual crap there. Yeah, oh, okay, fair enough. But I like this. I would own this. And that says a lot. Yeah, your legs would probably fit behind that. I did, notice that the, I did notice that you were uh, pending there somewhat. Yeah. They'd definitely be cutting you out of that. Yeah, if, if anyone wants to bring a car, can they make sure the seat's adjustable? Yeah, we did have a lovely young gentleman who actually swapped the seat for yeah, us, didn't did, he? Yeah. So it makes because whilst that seat's great for the customer, it doesn't necessarily mean that I can get in there or fit in it. <laughs> I mean, not even from the point of view that I'm fat, obviously. Well, I struggle. I'm to talking get... about the fact that my legs don't yeah. fit in there. <laughs> I, I struggle to get in, and I'm a halfling. I'm a, I'm a hobbit. So yeah. Uh, yeah, but there you go. Thanks for getting to the end of the video, guys. Uh, like and subscribe and all that jazz. I've been Danny at Dino Daisy. He's been Richard Ellis because he always is. And we'll see you on the, uh, the next video, won't we, mate? We will indeed. We will indeed.